Making a life worth living and retirement worth having is about the politicians in our communities doing their jobs. It's about the people they hire to represent us in the community. It's about the people they enlist through employment, through income generation for their families and households that make our lives either safe or not safe in the land. Every person in America, at least according to our constitutional laws, should be allowed the freedom of movement to produce for themselves life, liberty, and happiness. That is what we sing about in our songs. That is what we tout from the history of our forefathers who fought for this land, for freedom of all, and equality for every person. When a man wakes up in the middle of the night to find his body shaved by some sibling, it's an act of hazing and hatred, and literally should be punishable as rape is also punishable. The rape of a man, woman, or child is a punishable offense if the perpetrator can be caught. When the individual is such a pathological liar that they can get out of those lies with their own manipulations of not only their own mind, but of the people who have literally helped them to do this, it is literally on them. It's very possible for someone to put a ladder up on the side of a house, tall enough, literally, to walk up that ladder and go in through a window. It is totally possible for them to reset a room the way that it looks. We all know this. We've seen this in the movies. We also know that technology exists today that can be played through audio files on our phones. So many people utilize their telephones today that people can be tracked through their telephone numbers. It used to be doable online, but I'm not seeing that as much, at least not on my computer. When people used to do this, they could do this. I find that Google allows this because I've actually looked up my own numbers and found where I am. I didn't give a person the right to follow me on Google, and I certainly didn't give Google Voice the rights to over my life to prevent me from getting my own phone messages or getting to my own contacts in my phone system. I've had up to four numbers with Grand Central. My right to do so has been stolen from me by someone literally constantly getting into my bags and taking things. When I confront my sister about it, she says it's impossible, which pretty much tells me she's a liar. My sister is not an illogical person. She's not a dumb woman, and she openly has lied about the rights she's giving people in my property. When I talk about this, please do absolutely nothing because they value her little game in my life and I don't like them for the result of that. That if someone in my lifetime can be harmed like this, it means any of your children or you could be portrayed the same way. It literally means that they can destroy a life with the religious right in the communities, in government, in courthouses, in sheriff's lands, and openly that is the truth. Now when I wake up all itchy, it's because someone has shaved the hair off my back. They shaved me and shaved my legs in jail. They held me locked in a medical ward where they could deliver food to me, which could have had been laced with anything, illegal or legal, prescribed by some physician who was of a different nationality and country, who brought in with him a female woman, also not natively American citizen. You see, Americans are Caucasian, usually, completely, not of the Middle East. The jails might be using Middle Eastern people because regular Americans don't want to work it or because they produce what they want from them in their psychological wards. I don't know. It's hard to say. Now, I'm not going to record this very long. I'm just going to say the next minute I find myself raped again by someone in the middle of the night, I want you to look to your own lives and decide whether or not you feel that is appropriate for your life. Because if a person like me can be raped by any person in the land from an audiophile or a melatonin shake or anything like that, then it can totally happen to you. This land of America needs politicians who know the law and who care about people's rights to their own bodies. Bottom line, I have rights and my birth family has stolen those rights in many occasions and people just allow it. Companies, hospitals, police departments, sheriff of the land, and politicians allow it. 
We're heading into a political campaign year. I encourage you to start paying attention to the new wave of women who are throwing their names in the hat to become president. It's time that we have a different force in the presidency, and we literally need a lawyer of sorts who understands the law and who won't monkey with it, finding loopholes to ruin people's lives. Constitutional law is the first and most fundamental laws we have to follow as an international superpower in the world. When our human rights are violated by our own people and law enforcement and families, they have proven they don't belong here. Thanks for listening.